Hey guys, I'm John, John Yuckywood, aka the artist formerly known as Nick Yuckywood. So yeah, I talked about this in my live stream. I wanted to do a separate video showing a clip of that, but there really is just a lot I don't talk about because I, I always just forget stuff when I talk about stuff. So yeah, I had to write it down here. As you can see, I'm very bad at writing stuff. So yeah, the video is called Why the Semi-Retirement. Like, there really is just a lot going on, really, like, nowadays, especially, like, a lot of stuff in real life, but also a lot of stuff online. Uh, but yeah, I think you all know, like, what kind of stuff I'm talking about. But first, like, lack of energy and lack of motivation. Uh, like, yeah, like, I don't have enough energy sometimes when I do videos, and sometimes my nose is too runny that I don't want to, like, be on camera. <laughs> I get really thirsty <laughs> uh but like yeah or even like uh setting up like all like my videos for my video collection or putting a document on my computer for like the script uh, for like the script especially when i like have to like rework my dreams documents and like especially i've been procrastinating on that and the things that scare me videos and the uh dvd series like, yeah, really. Just filming videos just, like, is, like, very, like, tiring. Especially, like, uh, videos where I talk a lot. Like, my throat starts to hurt sometimes. Or, like, when I have to hold the camera. Uh, because I can't find a good small tripod that I can figure out how to work. Uh, for when I want to, like, film something off of my computer screen. Uh, and not, like, on the TV. Because like, that's what this tripod is for. So, like... Uh, I was very glad to get a tripod like this, but, like, it, it's even hard to, like, put, like, the phone on there. I had to, like, really stretch that thing. <laughs> that, oh, God, this is sounding wrong. Uh, but, like, yeah, it's really hard to do it and put the phone on there. Uh, but, yeah. I need, like, a more professional camera, probably. Uh, but, yeah. But even, like, after I film videos, I just get, like, so much lack of energy. And I just get, like, so nervous whether or not uh, the... Uh, video will actually upload like if the upload uh, or a video file will get corrupted uh, Stuff like that that actually happened before a while ago uh, When like almost every video I did I have to like re-upload it because it kept glitching out It glitched out like crazy that even like the comments uh, were glitching out uh, But like yeah, the comments telling me I should like probably redo it uh, So yeah, but that uh, kind of stopped even like with videos where like uh, like one second is cut off at the very end uh that i don't think it happens anymore but like uh, it did happen a lot but really there's just a lot of stuff it's especially ironic like uh being like a smaller class youtuber and i, I better <laughs> i better check my text from my mom like yeah like it might not be tough being a smaller class youtuber like and having so much tiring out from like doing videos i've been doing videos for almost 10 years like practically uh since 2015 that may not seem like a long time but it was next year uh will be the 10th anniversary of my first youtube video and the year after that will be the 10 years of the nick yucky wood channel uh so yeah basically uh but yeah but like there's just so much stuff like, I have to face, like, with, like, cancel culture, really, in the smaller class YouTube communities. Being a smaller class YouTuber, cancel culture, like, you can get canceled for, like, the simplest things, like, being respectful to opinions and stuff. Yeah, I'm talking about, like, the toxic fandoms and communities, like, physical media, like, uh, like, Beyond or Go Animate, like, the VeggieTales uh, fan community. Uh, the VeggieTales fandom I've talked about before. There are actual disgusting people in the VeggieTales fandom. And they do so much to sin, practically, for, like, a fandom of a religious children's show. That is not a religious fandom. That is a freaking satanic cult. And especially this connects to uh, the anti-John uh, situation, uh, practically. Like, never mind, like, the actual pedophiles and groomers and racists. Like, let's just bash opinions and, like, harass people because they're not forgiving towards someone. Uh, but yeah. Like, with the whole, like, 
yeah, the physical media community, because I'm a physical media collector, uh, but, like, uh, there are some physical media community uh, people that have completely fallen off the deep end, practically, not just with, like, the over-glorifying of channel rules or, like, terms like good user, bad user, don't bring up my past, I can handle your opinion, stuff like that. Like, yeah, like, I used to be, like, some of these people, but, like, I want to try to be more realistic, and yet all of you don't like when I talk more realistic. Like, nowadays, people talk a lot about drama, and yet smaller class YouTubers hate talking about drama, uh, because of, like, some religious thing or something, yet they cause drama, and they still keep talking about it. That's what the whole anti-Nick situation... Because, like, anti-Nick is stuck in the 2010s, because his profile picture with the picture of, like, my face uh, with the X on it... That X is, like, the same generic, like, X you see on a lot of those problematic YouTubers' profile pictures from the 2010s. Like, those generic, like, go animate users. Like, yeah, anti-Nick is stuck in the 2010s. Uh, practically. You've heard it from me. But then the whole anti-John situation. Uh, because that all happened because of controversy... A controversy surrounding someone named Pixar fan uh, 8695, who's a very popular fan animator of Luxo Jr. and VeggieTales, especially VeggieTales. He's very popular in the VeggieTales fandom. And like I talked about with the VeggieTales fandom being very problematic, uh, when the controversy surrounding him happened, I wasn't very forgiving towards him. When I talked about it in May, everyone was more understandable with my opinion. When I talked about it in June, a lot of people weren't. Uh, some people were understanding after a while, uh, but then those uh, four fake channels that I assume were fans of Pixar fan, because uh, a lot of fans of him started harassing other people for not being very forgiving towards him as well. Uh, like, yeah, they harassed me, and, like, it wasn't just simple harassment. It was just absolute crazy and mind-blowing. Like, it just really hurt my mental health. I've been suffering from depression for a while, but then it got way too severe from that. I had to go to the freaking uh, doctor uh, to uh, get that checked out, really. But, like, it wasn't just simple, like, petty crap. Like, it was, like, literally slandering and, like, harassment, bullying. Every sin in the Bible, practically. These are VeggieTales fans that have sinned. And that is just very crazy. And they accused me of the same stuff that Pixar fan had been accused of. Just because of an opinion. Just because I was not forgiving towards him, even though it's my choice. And I have forgiven him not because of the harassment, uh, because he reached out to me and said he's against harassment anyway, and he agreed with what I had to say uh, about uh, this situation. Uh, like, yeah, that's the only reason why I'm forgiven towards him. Like, some of the drama surrounding him is understandable. Uh, but, like, it's just so weird. Like, such simple things can be, like, cancel culture in the smaller class YouTube uh, communities. But, like, yeah. Uh, but ever since I forgave Pixar fan Anti-John's YouTube channel finally burned in hell. <laughs> uh, literally. Uh, so, yeah. But the stalker channels are still around. And there's still people uh, that are fans of Pixar fan that are harassing people because they're not, uh, like, being very forgiving towards him. Like, stop. Like, any, like, Pixar fans, fans, uh, like, stop, please. Like, because it's not your opinion. Uh, like, yeah, it's their opinion. Their opinion is just matters as much as yours, practically. Everyone's opinion matters, unless maybe, like, something, like, a little bit controversial or something. Uh, maybe we'll have to talk about that, but, like, yeah, there's still, like, people harassing people because of that, uh, but yeah. And I just think it's, like, an absolute terrible thing to happen, especially for the VeggieTales fandom. Uh, because, like, VeggieTales is a very religious show, uh, talking about the word of God from the Bible, talking about what's good and bad. Most of smaller class YouTubers don't know what the difference between good and bad, and it's just absolutely crazy. We have actual pedophiles, we have groomers, we have racists. Uh, we have bullies. Like, it's just absolutely crazy. Only, like, a few people I know are absolutely wholesome. And, like, with feuds with, like, friends of mine, uh, Scooby Dude, 1998, uh, Baby Lamb Creations, and Brendan Barney, those were made up after a few hours because we all understood each other. And that's, those guys are, like, true friends, uh, really. Even, like, uh, with uh, Sizzling Media, 
uh, when uh, we both made up, uh, that was perfectly fine. They're true friends because they act very realistic, practically. And I want to try to be realistic, but everyone else thinks that's just not good enough. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't get enough respect from all of you. When I talk negatively about someone, I don't mean disrespect. I mean nothing but respect. And I even encourage to not harass people, uh, like, because of that. Uh, like, yeah, but then you all harassed me, even though, like, I'm literally giving good advice, and yet you don't think it is. Like, I want to be, like, the higher class YouTubers. I've been on YouTube almost half as long as Smosh, practically. Like, they somehow survived, even with, like, Anthony leaving and, like, Anthony coming back. And, like, even, like, Jack's Films video that I mentioned, uh, like, really shows uh, that, like... <laughs> Yeah, like, he's been doing it for quite a while, and, like, yeah, I've been doing it for quite a while, too. But, like, what should I do, uh, really? I want to be, like, an actor or, like, a puppeteer or, like, a voice actor, maybe. Even if I, like, have, like, one of the most smallest roles ever, I'd probably get more recognition. Yeah, even if it was, like, even smaller than, like, uh, somehow than, like, Mr. Beast's cameo in, like, Kung Fu Panda 2 or 4. I, I always get numbers wrong. Uh, but, yeah. I need to, like, set a schedule. I don't want to retire. I'm not MatPat, really. Like, I don't want to, like, fully retire. But, like, with all that's gone uh, on uh, in my life for the past uh, few months and even the past few years, like, it's just getting too crazy, really. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. I'm thinking I should set a schedule. Uh, because back in, like, 2018, I remember I used to do only, like, one video... Uh, per month, and it was usually, like, collection videos, uh, before I felt more comfortable, uh, doing more videos all the time. Uh, like, maybe I'll do that, maybe I'll do just, like, one or two videos a week, uh, maybe, until I feel much better, uh, about myself, I feel more, like, full of energy, uh, maybe. Uh, like, yeah, there's just, like, so much, uh, really, like, yeah, I need, like, an editor, honestly. Like, I don't have an editor. I can't edit. The only thing I can edit is, like, trimming a video. Uh, like, yeah. And even that's kind of a pain sometimes. And I got a notification of fe Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. I don't know why I, I almost said Fetch wrong. Uh, I'm just going crazy. Also, the back of this uh, piece of paper says Pizza Bagels, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Because I don't know exactly how long to heat up food. Like, yeah. So, like, yeah. I just really, like, need more recognition. I need more time. I need, like, an editor. I need people to be more respectful to my opinions. Uh, and understand that I'm not disrespectful in the slightest way. Uh, like, yeah. You know, like, yeah, when people say, I can handle your opinion, they don't like the word respect uh, because it means admiration, which means they admire opinions, which they don't. Uh, which they must not admire opinions because they are opinion bashers whenever they say that. Uh, but yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I hope you all understand uh, and, like, I don't know what else to say right now, uh, really. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I fear I'm gonna forget something again, but, like, yeah. I hope you all understand. Uh, I hope you understand, but like, uh, yeah, see you later.